hello everyone. Uh, I got a really good question the other day. Um, I'm not sure how to say this uh, user uh, YouTube user's name. I think it's Ninja911, but it's, it, anyway, it's like N1NJ4911. Uh, can't figure out half these uh, YouTube user names. Like, what the fuck is that? So anyhow, so I can't figure out the name, but I really like the question. Um, he or she was asking about uh, the six-speed on the Ninja 250. Uh, they're saying they heard somebody say that, uh, oh, you got to go through all six gears be to get to 30 miles per hour. Did I agree with that statement? Um, I kind of do. I would have phrased it, you got, uh, can't get to 40 miles per hour without going through all six gears. Um, but yes, the Ninja 250 really shifts through gears very quickly. Um, you can look at it uh, one or two ways. The negative way, you could say, well, you got to go through gears really, you know, got to go to six gear just to get up to 40 miles per hour that's ridiculous compared to other bikes yeah it could be or you can look at it as it's freaking teaching you how to shift uh, whether you have experience on a manual transmission car or not um, that's one of the reasons I say a Ninja 250 is a great uh, sport bike to start off on is it teaches you to shift because you're constantly shifting on that thing I assumed Honda's CBR 250 would be, and the uh, Husong would be the same. Um, but there is a world of difference between it and at least my R6. I haven't driven any other uh, 600 sport bikes or any other motorcycles that are a 5 or 6 speed, but I would assume that the, they would be more like this one. Um, now, I really compare this uh, what I'm trying to say is for like the vehicle speed like right now I'm doing about 35 in a 40 zone I'm just putting along in third gear not really giving it much revs uh, if I was in the Ninja I'd definitely be in whoa 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 fucking look first Texas god damn he won't even look at me he won't even look at me fucking Air Force puke <sighs> Just give me a second here, I'm a little pissed. Uh, Alright, don't mean to insult everybody in the Air Force, just a little uh, inner branch rivalry there. Any excuse to yell at those flyboys. Okay, so <laughs> where the fuck was I? Oh yeah, vehicle speed. Um, yeah, okay, yeah, six speeds. I'm going to have to edit this part out because I really forgot what I was talking about or where I was at. Um, oh yeah, so I think uh, for the vehicle speed, depending upon what gear you're in, um, the R6 is very similar to my Corvette. That is a six-speed manual also. But the biggest difference on that one is the fifth and sixth gear on the Corvette or overdrive gears. So on that one, I could be cruising down the freeway at 85 miles per hour in 6 gear, which is like a 0 0.50 ratio for overdrive, and it'll be doing 1800 RPMs. Now you do 85 miles per hour on uh, this thing in 6 gear, and I believe she's, she'll be doing around seven, maybe 7500 RPMs. Uh, the Ninja 250, trying to remember what she did. 85 miles per hour was uh, pretty close to the limit uh, for, my, for my weight in this altitude. And I think it was definitely well over 10 or close to red line on that. So, but yeah, it, uh, you're going to go through the gears a lot quicker on the Ninja. Then you would do, uh, I assume the other 600s would be the same as my R6. And they're fairly close to the 6-speed in the Corvette, just kind of... You know, if there was no traffic here and I was doing about 40 miles per hour, I'd be in fourth gear in the vet, you know, easy. This one, probably about fourth gear, but yeah, the Ninja 250, you're going to be in the higher fifth or sixth gear. So that's, uh, I think about all I can think about on that one. Alright, traffic's getting a little crazy, so i got to start paying attention to it. It's getting close to rush hour. And, Gotta watch out for these Air Force dudes. <laughs> oh, 
hater. 